Hello everybody, it's John Johnston. I have seen some comments from you guys about doing uh, instant reactions or doing Nebraska basketball stuff, so I thought I'd give it a shot. We'll see if uh, any of you actually follow this. I thought I'd do instant reactions to some of the basketball games this season, and why not start with this one? Nebraska's four overtime loss, 104 to 100 to North Carolina State Wolfpack. I don't know if you watch this. <laughs> you know, it's uh, Nebraska went down early, got up by 14, lost the lead. You know, that's how basketball goes. It's a game of streaks and runs, and it's insane. And uh, at one point, a lap man started a scuffle with the NC State bench uh, when he had a three shot right in his face and apparently was not happy with uh, one of his teammates or something when as he's walking by the NC State bench he kind of bumps a guy hard and they get into a jawing match and then it ends up in a kerfuffle and uh, you know morons get uh, involved and uh, Eduardo Andre from Nebraska rushes out on the floor from the bench and guys get ejected and Mann gets ejected, and Andre gets ejected, and all through the night, we're not sure entirely who gets ejected because of one key thing. The announcers are not at the game. They're not at the game. See, normally if you're at a basketball game, the announcers would be courtside, and a lot of times the ref will come over, the official will just come over to the, to the announcers and tell them what's going on or what happened. Or they can overhear what's going on when it's being explained. But since the announcers are not at the game, they don't get good information from people who are at the game trying to pass them information. So most of the night, the, the bottom line on that is, uh, if they're going to spend the money to send announcers to the games, you really... You can't rely on that crap at all because it was particularly shitty. The announcing was terrible. They had no clue as to what was going on about half of the time, and they're full of shit anyway. But uh, and basketball is, is maddening. It really is. It's a crazy, crazy sport. Uh, I plan on doing a how to watch and enjoy Nebraska basketball video, I hope. But anyway, it, you know what? It was a good game, kind of. You know, Nebraska got the loss. Uh, Nebraska had their chances. I mean, you had, uh, what, there was a no call at, on, at the end of the game in regulation, I think it was. Alonzo Verge drew, uh, drove on the basket, got a layup, got knocked to the floor. There was no call. I guess my response to that was, you're on the road. The officials weren't calling much most of the night anyway, and they certainly weren't calling contact fouls. So... I guess you you expect a call there, you don't get one. Because that's how it goes. Because basketball is fucking nuts. It is. I don't understand how guys can play basketball and get the officiating that they get in some of these games and not commit murder. It, it, not lying about that at all. Uh, you know, Bryce, my buddy Bryce, we're on first name basis, Bryce McGowan, missed a free throw that could have won the game. I think that was in the second overtime. And, you know, I'd say Alonzo Verge for Nebraska played really well. He did some hero ball stuff, but uh, the guy played tons of minutes, and he played pretty well. He ends up with 25 points, high score for Nebraska. Uh, Bryce, my buddy Bryce, ends up with 24, but unfortunately, you know, that one free throw could have ended the game and a win, a nice road win for Nebraska, but no, because we Nebraska's men's sports can't win games. Especially at the end. <sighs> so, the officiating. Uh, I don't know if you watch a lot of basketball, but Teddy Valentine is a well-known official in Big Ten basketball, and people call him TV Teddy, because as you can watch, he's very demonstrative through when he's making calls. You know, and he's... he's you know, I mean, he looks like a well-built guy that could kick most of the ass of everybody in the arena, but he's also just constantly in TV time, you know? It's just... Uh, and the reason why I bring this up is because North Carolina State shot 43 feet... I can't even say it. They, I'm so shocked. Uh, 43 free throws compared to Nebraska's 15. 
Nebraska has been averaging 24 free throws a game. In this, they got 15, and the other team got 43. Does that sound like an evenly called game? No, maybe not. <sighs> anyway, Nebraska could have had a nice road win. Could have been a, you know, coulda, coulda, coulda. It sounds like basketball. It sounds like football season, doesn't it? Uh, you know what? I, I'm not really upset about this. I, you know, I could swear more. I could be really angry. But I don't. You know why that is? Because I can't fucking feel anymore. That's why. Because after this football season, I don't feel anything. And because basketball, you know, I've decided I'm just going to take it one game at a time. I'm not going to project into the future. And there's the key to understanding basketball, Nebraska basketball. So we'll see how many of you actually watch this video. Uh, maybe I'll do these. Maybe I won't. It's late at night. You can hear the dog snoring in the background. My wife decorated my room for Christmas. I feel pretty good about everything, except um, it's a loss. And I hope you're doing well. Go Big Red. Good night.